Section 10.19, Internet Search Engines. A network of links between web pages can provide a means of measuring their relative importance. A diagram called a web graph shows the links among the web pages. A directed path from the ith page to the jth page means that the ith page has an outgoing link to the jth page. That is, it references that page. The adjacency matrix of a web graph with n pages is the n by n matrix A, whose ijth entry, aij, is 1 if the jth page has an outgoing link to the ith page and 0 otherwise. If a web graph with n pages is surfed by clicking a mouse, then the state vector xk is the n by 1 column vector whose ith entry is the probability that the surfer is on the ith page after k random mouse clicks. The probability transition matrix B equal to bij associated with an adjacency matrix A equals AIJ is the matrix obtained by dividing each entry of A by the sum of the entries of the same column. So that means that BIJ is equal to AIJ divided by the sum of all of the AKJs. How about we do an example to demonstrate this a little bit better. So suppose we know with certainty that Alice is initially in page 2 of the web graph in the figure. Let's determine her successive state vectors. So she starts in page 2, so let's make x0 equal to the vector that puts Alice on page 2. So we have 0, 1 for page 2, 0 for page 3, 0 for page 4, 0 for page 5, 0 for page 6 and then x1 is the vector we get by multiplying x0 by b. So that would be bx0. So b, let's fill out the columns for b. The uh, first one would be if we started at 1. So if we start at 1 it looks like we could go to 3. Uh, we can't go to 2 because the arrow is pointing in the other direction can't go to 6 because the arrow is pointing the direction, or 5, or really anywhere else. So if we start at 1, we have to go to page 3. So that means that it'll be 0 everywhere else. So 0 for 1, 0 for 2, 1 for 3, 0 for 0, 5, 0, 6. So that's if we started at 1. What if we started at 2? Well, if we start at 2, then we could go to 1, or we could go to... 5 or we could go to 4 but we can't go anywhere else so there's a one-third chance we go to 1 there's no chance at all we go to 2 there's no chance we go to 3 there's one-third chance we go to 4 and uh, one-third chance we go to 5 no chance we go to 6 and so we keep uh, doing this for if we start at 3 then we have a one-third chance of going to 2, a one-third chance of going to 5, and a one-third chance of going to 6. So we end up with 0, one-third, 0, 0, one-third, one-third. And we can keep filling in the matrix in this fashion. For the fourth column, we get 0, 0, half, 0, 0, half, then 1 third, 1 third, 0, 0, 0, 1 third, and then 1 third, 0, 1 third, 1 third, 0, 0. So we'll take that and multiply it by x0, which we said was 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and we end up with 1 third, 0, 0, 1 third, 1 third, 0. Okay, so we could approximate that by 0 0.3333, 0, 0, point three 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 point three 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 zero and uh, this allows us to use a calculator plug it in just get all of our uh, state vectors expressed as approximations each of the successive x k's will be equal to b times x
to the uh, x k minus one for k equals one, two, three, and so on. So for x two, we just multiplied by b again, and we get point one 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 point one 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 point five zero 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 point two seven seven eight we'll multiply again to get x three so x three is given by point one two nine six point one six six seven point two zero three seven point one two nine six point two zero three seven point one six six seven let's keep going to get x uh, four and x five uh, I'll just skip x four let's do x five x five is given by uh, point one five three three so just multiply by b multiply by b again point one two four five point three zero one four point one one two one point one two eight six point one eight zero zero and if I multiply by b five more times I get x ten which would be point one five six two point one three six six point two seven zero zero point one one zero one point one three six six point one nine zero five and again another five times to get x fifteen which is point one five four four point one three six five point two seven two seven point one zero nine zero point one three six five and point one nine one zero Suppose that there is a probability delta called the damping factor, that one will go to the next page in the network by choosing a link on the current page, and a probability of one minus delta to the next page will be chosen at random. So instead of just um, going from one page to the next, we have now introduced a probability that you just randomly choose a page. Okay, so then there's a pro new probability matrix M, in which we have this... Uh, each mij entry given by delta times the bijs plus 1 minus delta over n with the bijs as given as before. So the idea here is that what if you started on a um, you know kind of a dead end page and then you couldn't go anywhere else you would end up with um, steady state vectors over time that don't necessarily um, accurately reflect what they uh, appear to be trending towards. So the damping factor can kind of uh, uh, compensate for that. So let's uh, basically do the same examples before, but now with the damping factor. So we'll start with our x0. And for x0, let's say that we'll have equal probability of be on any web page. It'll be totally random. So that means each one's 1, 6, and I'll write that as decimals as 0.1. 6, 6, 7, so point one, six, six, seven, 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 point one, six, six, seven. And I'll write B as the same as before, um, except that this guy is a little bit different. It looks like for one, it still only goes to three, but for two now, we go to either one or three with equal probability. 
So the second column will just be half, zero, half, zero, 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 etc. So we'll just get a slightly different B. Let's build it. So we start with zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. If we started at one, if we start at two, we have half, zero, half, zero, zero, zero. Starting at three, you could only be at uh, uh, number two, it looks like. Yeah, you could only go to two. So we'll have zero, one, zero, 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 and then zero, zero, half, zero, zero, half, one third, one third, zero, 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 one third, and then a uh, quarter, 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 uh, zero, zero. Okay, it didn't quite line up, right? But that's fine. Uh, for x, k plus 1, that'll be equal to b times the previous x, k, as before. So let's uh, look at this in both cases. I'll just write out what you get when you use a calculator and calculate it without damping, just so you can see the comparison. So for example, you multiply by b five times, you get x5 and that'll be equal to 0.199.9.4043.3933.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0000.0
point zero three five two point zero two five zero point zero four seven seven just by um, writing out m times uh, x0 and then multiplying by m times x1 m times x2 etc etc so this should really be uh, xk right over there that's fine though uh, now let's get just a couple more let's go to x10 just do a good comparison so you can see already that it looks like the um, last three pages while they're not going to be ranked highly they're not going to drop to being completely delisted because they have small ranks because so there is a small chance that you would end up on those pages so we're just uh, writing out the entries of x10 we end up with point zero three five zero instead of zero point zero two five zero and point zero four uh, six nine and we'll just uh, compare now x15 so even after multiplying by 15 times we still don't hit zero in the last three as we're going to see because we have 0 0.1892 0 0.3462 0 0.3463 Five zero and point zero four six nine. 